What is the crack, everybody? My name is Jack Potato, and it's been a while since I've actually recorded some audio for gameplay. Mainly because since the Xbox release, I've been flat out with work. I'm finishing off work at the end of this week, and I've just been flat out busy getting things finished up and sorted out. So I actually don't have a lot of recordings done, and I don't have a lot of audio done. So I'm just literally throwing this together on the Wednesday night, and this is going up on a Thursday. So please forgive me if the gameplay is bad or the audio is bad or something. It should still all be okay. I'm not that bad of a person at doing all this crack. Something I'm going to show you now on the screen. If you look at this, you should reckon, maybe recognize this. This is Dragon Ball Z Budokai 3 from back on the PlayStation 2. Finally figured out how to get a good recording done on the PlayStation 2. Worked out all the video settings to get it nice and running smooth. I have about 30 recordings of this 10 second piece of footage and finally I got it sorted out so once the summer starts I'm going to have a lot of spare time and I'm going to get a lot more gameplay and a lot more things done with the PlayStation 2 and some full games like more potato play stuff so I'm quite excited about that what you noticed the other day I put up the video like three days late of course flipping crap connection out where I live of my thoughts on the new Xbox one announcement and I kind of display my annoyance at the whole backwards compatibility and use games thing. So with that in mind, I'm going to kind of talk about what I feel about these this predicament really. Also give my just two cents and my new thoughts and feelings on it after thinking about things and thinking things through a couple of days later. It's actually almost a week later. So the first thing I'm going to look at is the backwards compatibility. Now, with the Xbox 360, I bought it month one, literally, and I've been playing it ever since. I love the fact that you can go back and play the old Xbox games on it, like Halo. Never played Halo originally. I only played it once it was on sale on like the Xbox for 400 Microsoft points. I bought it and played it and loved it. And that was great. That was great being able to go back and play them games and just experience what people before me was experiencing because I was originally a PlayStation 2 guy I still have my PlayStation 2 being able to go back and play them games was really good but with Microsoft trying to get rid of the use the backwards compatibility not getting to use games yet that to me is really a silly idea because there are so many great games out for the Xbox. Why would you not be able to play them on the Xbox One? You can still play old games on the PC. Why would you not be allowed to do that on the Xbox One? It's a stupid thing. It's a really bad idea. Of course then I sat down and thought about it for a wee bit. And really when I got the PlayStation 3. I think I bought the PlayStation 3 once the Slim came out, so that was maybe a year after the PlayStation 3 originally came out, maybe a year and a half, I never really had much intentions on playing my old PlayStation 2 games in the PS3. Mainly because the PS3 wasn't backwards compatible, and I had the Xbox, so I didn't really need to... Not the Xbox, I had the PlayStation 2, so I didn't really need to worry about the backwards compatibility. Which then got me thinking, will I need it for the Xbox One? Or will I just keep my Xbox and just play it through that. It's kind of annoying the way that you can't play games backwards compatible. You could just keep the Xbox One and you could play with your friends online and you wouldn't have to worry about setting up the Xbox to play, you know, Grand Theft Auto 4 or Halo Reach or Black Ops or whatever you're fancy playing with your friends. It's just a really stupid idea and it's just really annoying that you can't do that. You can't play with your friends anymore and you just can't enjoy the online gaming experience which the Xbox does so well. The Xbox is the best online gaming console. The PlayStation 3 can do it, yes, but playing online on the Xbox is just a much better experience. And I think a lot of people will agree with me in saying that. So having then to get, you know, set up the Xbox 360 every time that I want to play Grand Theft Auto 5 because it's not coming out in the Xbox one. Say if I buy Halo, not Halo, uh, Destiny on the Xbox 360. What happens if all my friends then buy it on the Xbox One? I won't be able to play with my friends on the Xbox One because they're not including that functionality. They're not including that backwards compatibility and they've really shot themselves in the foot with this. They're really missing an opportunity with this. Yes, the PlayStation 4 isn't doing backwards compatibility and they're shooting themselves in the foot with this as well because a lot of the games that are out 
for the PS3 are not going to be on the PS4. It's the same. It's the same deal with the Xbox. They're just really shooting themselves in the foot with this, and they're missing a great opportunity. This kind of then leads into missing a great opportunity with the used games thing. Cancelling out used games is a mad, stupid idea. I originally wondered why EA were so happy with just dropping their online pass thing. It's because they realise that when they have a used game that they're going to get the seals off the Xbox One anyway. The Xbox One charges you to use used games. And so that then they're happy enough to drop their online pass because then they're going to get all the seals off the Xbox One. I love buying used games. Used games for me are a godsend. A lot of companies, yes, apparently, according to Total Biscuit or Total Halibut, whatever you want to call that guy, stores like Game and GameStop push their used games because they make their money off the used games. They'd rather not sell a new game because they don't make the money off that. Fair enough. But going into a shop and buying a used game is just a lot better because there's nothing wrong with that game. Why would you want to buy a new game when you can get a used game that works exactly the same for a lot cheaper? Xbox are trying to mimic what Valve is getting with their games. Valve is getting mass game sales. But the difference between Valve and Xbox is Valve have actual seals. They have proper seals where things get dropped down to like three pound. And at an Xbox and pretty sure that Call of Duty Black Ops is still sitting for £30 on the Xbox Live Marketplace. Microsoft literally seemed to be trying to cancel out the used games industry. The lack of backwards compatibility means that once Xbox stop making Xbox 360 games, then that's all that's going to be left. If the Xbox One can play Xbox 360 games, then them Xbox 360 games are going to be pretty much pointless. Unless you go out and buy an Xbox 360, because they don't work on the Xbox One. They're cutting out used games, and you have to now pay to use, like, second-hand games. They are literally just trying to kill the used game industry. They don't really want to lose out in sales prices. They don't want their publishers to lose out their money. They don't want to let anyone else have their money. Yet, as Total Biscuit said, they are constantly giving them these great deals and things so that their games will sell more. Whatever they're doing with this whole backwards compatibility and this whole used game thing is completely blowing my mind. And I am so confused by the whole situation that I don't know what to do with the next Xbox or the next PlayStation. I don't know whether just to keep my Xbox 360 and just stop gaming altogether or just stick with my PC and just keep gaming with that. I'm, it's totally mind-blowing, this whole situation. And hopefully some way or somehow at E3 everything will be sorted out and everything will have the light lifted and the curtain drawn back and we will see what these consoles will do and how they will do it. Thanks for listening, guys. This is a quite a strange rant. I've been kind of wanting to do this discussion for a while. What do you think about the whole use games and backwards compatibility thing? Do you think that you will miss it or do you think that you don't really care and you're just going to buy the Xbox One regardless of what it can do and what gaming functions it has or whether it has become just really a system for your TV and just to watch you in the middle of the night when you sleep and things with the Kinect camera always on live. I don't know what's going on with this console. It is baffling my mind. But until E3 will not really know what the console can do and what's going to happen with it. But as always guys, thank you for watching the video. Click my little jacket potato face up above there. I don't know what side he's on in this video. It changes about just regarding screen placement of things in the game. My name is Jacket Potato. I am a Christian and I will see you all next time.